start. Hello and welcome to the girls' senior night for soccer. The Oxford Hornets versus the Kenneth Blue Demons, and we are underway. Blue Demons had the kickoff, but the Hornets were the one who got that back. It's going to be a throw in for Kenneth right now. Headed by the Blue Demons, and it's going to be an Oxford throw in. Caitlin Lester, the only senior for the Hornets in the roster, which was uh, pretty comical. Uh, we're, it's senior night, so usually with senior nights, if you don't already know, we announce all the senior workers right here. And I'm like, is that it? Just one senior? Well, it was. It, it would be funnier if you were with us at the time. Uh, Blue Demons send it out wide. Try to send a through ball down the line, but it's going to be an Oxford ball. It's thrown in, but the Blue Demons will be the first to get to that one. Into the middle. Tries to send it across, but good defense there keeps it away. Hornets trying to get out of their own end. Sends it up. Good ball. Gone. Elizabeth Lentz with, with that one. It's going to be a foul on the Blue Demons. Free kick is going to be taken by Corey Balkman. It's a good ball in! And the goalie for Kenneth is going to have to be mighty careful with that one. If there were many players around looming for that ball. Punt it out. Kenneth gains possession. We're going to take it right back, however. Big boot there. She runs around, there's a shot, and it's a save by the Kenneth goalkeeper. Good start to the game for the Hornets. A lot of attempt, one attempt right there to get this game started. It was a dangerous looking ball in. But now the Blue Demons are coming right back. Tries to stop with it. Keeps the ball, went through her legs. And Heather Burnett was that takeaway. Boots it downfield, but that's going to be called offsides. Free kick is taken down the line. The Hornets are the first one of that one. Blue Demon throw in. Long throw down the line once again. Blue Demons keep it in this time. Tries to send a cross. And Tara Bender will take that easily. Oh, and that bounces over the Kenneth Defender. And it's going to be ran onto. Good right there by Mackenzie Earhart. Lester with the big boot. It's going to be ran on though. And just barely got into. Threatening ball there. Almost gave it away there. Good start to the game by each side. 
Tries to send the ball in the middle. A through ball wouldn't work there. Lou Demons. Seems like they kept it in. Hornets kick it downfield. Earhart has it. Protecting her body. She's going to send a through ball. Oh, but it was way too hard. It's going to go right back to the Kenneth goalie. You've seen some good looks already from every player on the Hornets and the Blue Demons. Just needs to work on that one last connecting play. Pass way too hard and it's going to... was there to get it and there's another ball by her and it's going to go out of bounds blue demon ball head away by Lentz you know, right back to the blue demons and it's going to be a throw in for them so not much gain on that throw in except a little more field position Pushing the back, it seemed, by Lester. No call there. It's going to be a Hornet throw in. Lester to take it. Long ball. Earhart couldn't get you onto that. Oh, and the Hornets almost broke away right there. Ball downfield. It's going to be handled pretty easily. Blue Demon throw in. Lens. Another through ball wouldn't work. You can see Earhart's been wandering way around the half field line, looking for that last connecting piece. Oh, ball into the middle, very dangerous there. Hornets do get it away, and now look at this. Earhart's gonna try and go away with this one, getting shot. Will she get to the ball? She does. She gets it, the shot, oh, and it's blocked by the Kenneth Defender. So close. Great play by the Kenneth Defender to get right back and take a sure goaling chance away from her. The first or second big chance of the game for the Hornets has come. And uh, with the shot from way downfield. And it's going to be handled by the goalkeeper. That was pretty close to going over her and in. It's going to take one bounce. Lester with the big boot. Just trying to protect it. Back to the defense. Ball into play. Kenneth was just looking at that ball. She's going to turn around onto it. Is it going to stay in? It won't. Gonna be a hornet throw in right here. Nice ball, it's gonna be onside. Kidder sent it into the middle. Earhart couldn't get that final piece, and it's gonna be taken by the goalkeeper. Nice attacking play there.
Ball thrown in. Archer will take it right back. Oh, it went off of Earhart's back leg. She almost had a clear breakaway there. Sent into the middle. Handled by the Archer defense. Also just clears it. Kind of keeps it in and... Well, it could have been an easy ball. Came off her foot wrong and it's going to be a Hornet throw in. Sent across by Kidder. It's going to be a demon, blue demon ball. Lazy pass there and Oxford will take control. Sent across. Yeah, that was all sides. Air Hall was off sides. I didn't see it, but the player on the other end, I believe, was also off sides. Mary Kate McGlinley, that was. Ball sent downfield, and Lester will be the first one of that. Doesn't take a bounce before Kenneth can get possession. Tries to sit in the middle, no one was there. So it's sent to Kidder. Kidder. Sent downfield. Onside play. Back to the goalkeeper. She just kicks it away. They'll keep it in though. And it's going to be an Oxford throw in. Much of the play has been on the left side. So far for Oxford. Not much. Not many players on the right side have, given an, have been given an opportunity to make anything. It's going to be a foul going Kennett's way. Ball downfield. Heather's going to give it away. Lester with a ball downfield. It's going to go out. Off of Kidder's foot, weirdly there. It's going to be Blue Demon Ball, and they're threatening. Tries to send a ball downfield, but Heather Burnett will be the one to stop that. Also, with a nice step in there. Send it across. Sarah Shirk will send it downfield. Aaron's going to be the first one to it. Well, gave up a little bit there, and it's going to be. I can't throw in. It came off of Earhart's leg when it was trying to be cleared. Gainley sends it down to Earhart. Earhart into the middle. It was a good ball. Lentz will take a shot from far range. Didn't trouble the Kennett goalkeeper. She's seen a lot of action in tonight's game so far. Into the middle for Kennett. Lester will try to clear it away. Sent downfield. Near the corner flag. Magzer. And Osher will just clear it. Smart decision right there. We're going to have a sub for Kenneth coming right here. Kitty Willie's coming on for them. She's going to come on the defensive end of things. Seems like she's becoming a right back or center back in tonight's game. Kind of throwing. Referee had to put his hands up to avoid being hit by the ball in the face. Decision on here goes Kenneth's way.
Lester will knee it. Our heart just sends it to the left side. Lens can't catch up to it. Can it throw in? Send it downfield. Lester will be the one to knee that away. It's going to be another throw in. Right to a blue demon. It's up in the air, and it's going to be another throw-in. A lot of throw-ins early in this game. A lot of balls have been played to the left and right sides. Not much play in the middle. Been clogging up every team to go wide for opportunities to score. Good kick there by the goalkeeper. Lester will send it back to Oshel. Rojovic just sends it downfield. Everard's going to be the one to chase after that. Oh, that was a smart decision by the kind of goalkeeper right there. Finally got a chance to see her number. Hannah Shiflet is her name. Three keepers on the roster for Kennett. Ball's going to be sent all the way downfield. It's going to remain in Oshel. Sends it back to Tara Bender. Left foot right there. Sent downfield. Earhart couldn't connect with it. Back to Shiflet. Big boot. It's going to go over top of Lester. Kenneth sends it in. Trying to run onto it. Oh, sure, the smart decision just to send it out. Ball kind of handcuffed Osho, and it's going to be another kind of throw in from around the corner flag. Goes off of Lester, and it's going to be, I believe, a corner kick. Over the goal. Goal kick to come for the Hornets. First real chance. Good takeaway by Rodjovic right there. Kind of takes it back. Into the middle of the field. Two bro girls were closing on on her. Not much room. Can it threatening chance and there's a shot right at Bender. Oh, nothing, nothing score. Ball go, goes over the Kenneth defenders, and Earhart's going to try and move it ahead. It's going to be an Oxford throw in right here. Free kick from Bachman about to come up here. Big kick.
right to the right side. Oxford has an opportunity right here. And 1-0 is your score. The Hornets strike first. Great free kick from Bulk, but I'm not sure which Hornet it went off of. But it just rolled over the line into the back of the net. No one in the booth seems to know who scored that goal. So we're going to walk to the stands for the answer. However, Kenneth wants to respond here in a good way. But Bachman just sends it down. I believe that goal went off of Mary Kate McGinley's shin. That's what we're hearing anyway. Which Mr. Price has now just confirmed with us. So Mary Kate McGinley on that goal, the first one of the night for the Hornets. It was imminent. It had to come. They were controlling most of the possession and, uh, and the play. Bachman keeps it from going behind her. Burnett couldn't catch up to that. It's going to be a Hornet throw in. Much has been said about girls soccer versus boys soccer. What is the difference? Well, for one, boys soccer, from my opinion, and I'm sure a bunch of others, is a lot more physical. It's a more physical game. The boys tend to be more aggressive towards the referees, the players, anybody around. With the girls, they focus way more on agility and technical skill. Both are very important in the game of soccer. Now in the game between the United States men's national team and the United States women's national team, who would win that game? Now we do know that the women's national team is first in their respective uh, gender and the men's they are I believe 13th at this current ranking for FIFA who would win in the game between them in my personal opinion it would be the men's national team it would be more because of the physicality girls and boys are built differently so there's more muscle mass in the guy I'm not trying to come off as sexist right now but if I said the girls I would possibly be wrong we don't know. I'd love to see a battle between them one day. But for right now, we can just speculate. And as I say that, Bender makes the save. Yeah. Brad sends it downfield. It's going to be flipped on. Chased by Shirk. It's going to be another Hornet throw in. Sends it across in the middle of the field. Rodrovic gives it up, and it's going to be shot well wide, and it's going to be a goal kick. Nice one, too, between Shirk and Earhart. Shirk trying to chase it downfield. It's in the middle. Threatening, but Shiflet will be the first one to get to that for Kenneth.
Ball sent downfield for Kennett. Goes back for the options. Back. Earhart's open if she wants a through ball. Oh, and it was just, just into the feet of the Kennett defender. Lentz chasing hard back to get to that one. It was a clean play. Lester will send it downfield to Earhart, but once again, it's going to go out of bounds on this end. So it's going to be a Hornet throw in. Lester. Sends it down. Flick on there. Good ball to Earhart. Earhart. What are they going to call this? Offsides, was it? A delayed offsides whistle, perhaps? It looked offsides, possibly, or out. Yep, it was. it's going to be a throw in for Kennett. Doesn't matter. Earhart's going to have it. Earhart on the breakaway. With the right foot, the shot, the save. Shiflet made the save. Earhart sent it right into her. Shiflet, though, went down and had to extend her arms in the sky to make that save. And with that, it's still going to remain a one nothing game. Handball right there. It's going to go Oxford's way. Balkman. Is going to be the one to take this in almost the exact same position that the first goal for the Hornets came from. Goes are in motion. Balkman. Big boot again. It's going to be a little less than the first time. Hornets are going to try and regain possession right here. Lester gets it back. Excuse me. Now Lester gets it. Lester with the shot from well ranged. Oh, it's going to be a corner. Should be a corner right there. I'm not sure why they're not going to call it that. However, it's going to be a goal kick. Blue Demons. They have numbers if they get hurrying right here. <coughs> Since it's a cross, but Bender will get to that mightily... Easy. <laughs> so there will be a foul call on that play. It's going to be in threatening range for the Blue Demons to do something. Someone could get a hit on it, could deflect and go in, or it could just be a lucky shot. She takes it. It's going to go right to Bender, and she's going to come out, and she's going to sit on that one. Good eyes. No hesitation by Bender on that one. Good punt there. Not much spread on the ball. It's going to go over one kind of defender. Kenner was trying to catch up to that. She couldn't, but Earhart will. Earhart on the left side with room to work with. Took a big touch. Lentz did too, but Lentz... Almost got to that ball. Ball into the middle. Kennett will take possession. Rojevich on her. Takes it away from her. Good play. Kennett will get the ball right back, however. Burnett over. Sends it downfield. It's going to remain in play. It's going to be chased on. 
Sent back to Chef Whip. Big boot there. Off of Burnett. She's going to send it right back down. It's going to be a Hornet throw in for Heather Burnett. Burnett sent it down, but it went off of Shirk's foot, and it's going to be Kenneth throw in. Off of Balkman, but now the Blue Demons will have an opportunity here. Sidestep to the right. Good pressure on there. And did it go out? Kidder was the one who came back and made a great defensive play. Ball sent in. It'll be ball into the box. And it's going to be dangerous. Oh, it's going to be a save by Bender. And this is going to go in. And it hit the post. How is this not going in? And it's cleared off the line. Kevin will still have a chance right here. Shot in. It's blocked. Uh, don't ask me how that did not go in. But they survived something right there. It's going to be a throw in for Burnett. Do not ask me how that did not go in. From, from here, the video might show something different. A bit of with between Bender and her defenders. And there was a shot. And it was rolling in. It looked like it was in. Bender had it on the line. Lost it. The Kenneth player got it. And then hit the post with the shot. So, don't ask me. Again, how it did not go in. Or how she saved the first ball. Or, that was incredible. Incredible turn of events right there. It's going to remain a one nothing game. Big plays by both goalkeepers tonight. Blue Demons send it down. Bender will be the first one on that, however. She sends it downfield. It's going to hop over to Defender. Pressure put on by Shirk, and she's going to take it away. She's going to keep chasing after this ball. And it's going to be sent down. It's going to be a horn. It, it didn't go out yet. Shirk cuts back to the right. Sends it into the box. And it's going to be a corner kick for the Hornets. So a good hustle play there by Sarah Shirk. To keep this one alive for the Hornets, it's going to be a corner. The ball looked like a sure clearance for the Blue Demons. Funny how things can change so quick. It was a short corner taken. Ball into the middle. No one's on to that. Shirk to get it. Shirk with the save. Excuse me, Shirk with the shot. Another shot into the box. And Oxford will get it back. No, and there was a bit of miscommunication there. And Osha will get to that ball. She'll try to get another one. And she cuts around another defender. Sends it to Earhart. Earhart with the ball. And they're going to call it offsides. So the last few minutes have been very, very interesting. Ball sent down. Balkman's going to get to that one. Kenneth with the free kick. Burnett's going to get to that ball and send it across. Ball over the top. Earhart onto that ball. Earhart with the shot and it's right at the goalkeeper. And it's going to be saved. Shiflet has also come up big tonight. Not just Tara Bender. 
It seems like it's been the battle of the goalkeepers. Ball sent down, bounces once, goes off the head. Kidder tries to cut back to the left, won't do it. Taken away. Over a foot, and it's a good play by Buckman to step in right there. Went all the way back. Shiflet sends it downfield, kind of a low kick. Ginley. Oh, it was a nice play there by Kidder, and it's going to be a ball to Earhart. Earhart trying to chase it. Almost went away with that. Good play by the defense right there. Osho steps up. Oxford regains possession. Kidder cuts back to the left. A ball over the top to Osho. Excuse me, it was Earhart. It's going to be called off sides. The ball's going to go out. It didn't get very far until it went out. And it's going to be a free, excuse me, a throw in for the Hornets. Lester sends it down. Could have just deflected over the top. Ball sent out of bounds as Earhart was pressuring. So it's a throw in for Lester. Very high ball into the air. Olshul sends it back to Balkman. Ball doesn't go much, many places, but they will catch up to it again. Kidder sends it, a ball over the top, and hard, over the bar. How close has she come tonight to a goal? I know I said it before, still one nothing. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half, and it's sure seen its fair share of excitements. Sent downfield. Burnett's just going to send it. Nice, smart play there. Ball over the top. Earhart was offside, but Sarah Shirk was not. Shirk's going to be the first one to get. There's a shot right at Shiflet, and it's going to be an easy save. Punted downfield. Shirk's going to get onto that ball. Sends it to Burnett. Burnett sidestep. Nice play on the stutter step. She's going to get away with it. Burnett with the shot. Once again, tough angle right at Shiflet. The middle has opened up on the Kenneth defense. Rojovic. Sends it downfield. Brockman does that again. Earhart was wandering off. It's going to be an extra throw in. Kidder. Ball over the top to Earhart. Earhart. Sends it into the middle. Oh, it was a nice defensive play to get it away from him. Her. Excuse me. Burnett, first one of that ball. Sarah Shirk, off her shin, takes it. Looking for options, cuts to the right. With a pass into the middle, no one was there. Kennett will take it away. Tries to send it downfield. Oshel gives it back to Balkman. Bling as a sweeper and she just clears it. Going to be another Kennett free kick. Uh, excuse me. Kennett's just going to send it out. It's going to be another Hornet throw in. Lester sent it to Ketter. Trying to protect the ball was the kind of defender. Kenneth! Ketter just throws her down. I feel like he wants to speak with her. As frustrating as trying to get the ball that the girl is protecting might be. You can't do that. You cannot throw a girl. Or if you're a guy playing in the game, you cannot throw them down. No matter what. 
Lucky she got away with no yellow there. Clock keeps on moving. Another free kick goes out. It's going to be a Hornet throw in. Lester takes a big step. Kidder trying to get to the ball, and she does send it into the middle. The Earhart, Earhart cuts to the right. Won't do anything there. Ball sent over the middle. Kenneth trying to break out. Oh, a little bit of miscommunication right there. It was a smart idea, but it's going to be a Hornet throw in. And Lester, once again, a quick throw. Earhart to take it. Earhart. Back to Kidder. Kidder tried. I'm not sure what she tried to do there. I think it was she was stuck between a shot and a brew ball. And Kenneth kind of takes it. Sends it back. Oh, there was good pressure on the McGinley. And that's the end of the first half. Very exciting. A lot of entertainment. 1-0 is your score. The Hornets lead it. Hello and welcome back to the second half of the Oxford Kennet game. First half was exhilarating. Chances on each end. Incredible, incredible non goals, which I I still can't believe how that ball for Kennet did not go over the line and Tara Bender made the save. However, we're underway in the second half. Kenneth sends it down. Get to the ball first. Over the top. It's going to be a Kenneth throw in from a dangerous position. Thrown in. Cuts to the right. Trying to get in. Owen. She shielded off by Rodovic. It's going to be a goal kick coming up for Tara Bender here. Core Balkman, the one with the big foot, is going to take it. Flipped on by Kidder. Earhart to take it. Earhart loses it. Rojevic tries to get it back. She will try to send it back. Osho onto that. Gives it away, however. Osho will just clear it down, and Earhart's going to be the first one to get to that ball. Or so it seems. It's going to be an Oxford throw in. Lester with it. Takes a few steps, throws it downfield. Hornets will take it. Back to Rojevic. Left foot into the middle. Kind of clears it. Oshel. Going to go out off of a kind of player. It's going to be a throw in for the Hornets. Over the head of some players, and it's going to go down the line again for Oxford. It's going to be a throw in. Kind of tries to clear it. Sends it over the top. Buckman onto that one. Lester over top, and it's going to be a throw in for Kennett. Ball sent across. Eluded Sarah Shirk. She just sends it out. Throw in for Kennett. Shoves Sarah Shirk in the back. And it's going to be a free kick going Oxford's way. Walkman. Over the middle. Kenneth will take control. Tries to send it over top on the right side, and it's just going to go to Lester. It's going to remain in play. 
Head of the lane, it's gonna be kind of ball. Drogovic pressuring there. Ball across the middle, good ball. Cuts to the left side, there's a shot! Oh, there was a save and off the post! Oh, and she couldn't finish the rebound! Tara Bender with the save! Hit off of her glove, off the post! Came right to the get it forwards foot! Don't ask me how she got it over the bar! As close as they might have been, usually that would be the closest the team could get, but we had an unbelievable series of events early, uh, late in the first half. But either way, one nothing still. Tries to send it downfield. It's going to be a ball easily handled by Bender. Punts it downfield. Bit of a low punt. Kidder will take control of it. Gives it away, though. Kennett looking to move forward. Been pressuring a lot here in these last few minutes. Shot, and it's in! Off the post, I believe, or excuse me, the crossbar, and it's going to be a 1-1 game. It was going to happen at one point. You could just sense it from the pressure that Kennett was sending downfield. And we're back even. 1-1 one, one is your score with 34 minutes remaining in the second half. It found that, it found that perfect little shot. Good area to put it in. Tara Bender is not a huge goalkeeper, so she wouldn't be able to jump up too high. Went right between her glove and the crossbar and hit off the crossbar and in. Great placement of that shot. 1-1. One, one. Let's see how Oxford will respond to this one. Over the top, it seems like it's going to go out. She's just going to send... This game just gained a lot. Burnett throws it in the Shirk. So a Shirk could shield it off. It's going to be a corner now for Lee. No. From my point of view. It's going to be a goal kick. But I think the referee on the left side is going to talk to the referee on the other end. So it's going to be a goal kick. Sent downfield off of Kidder's back. Burnett trying to get to it and she get, wins it. Shirk. God, I'm surprised the referee didn't play advantage right there, but it's going to be a free kick going Oxford's way. Balkman to take this one from the right end. Ball's placed around 45 yards from the goal. Big foot right there. It's going to be in threatening range. Oh, just right behind Sarah Shirk. She run so early. Kent might be able to come away with a break here. And Balkman tries to crash in. Over the top. Lester off of her foot. Sends it up. It's going to be a ball over Earhart's head. And Shirk will be the one to get to that. Sarah Shirk cuts to the left. Nice move. Shirk into the middle of Earhart. And it's going to be off of her foot. And it's going to go to Shiflet. And she's going to get to that one. Good play by Kidder. 
Earhart with the opportunity to make it a 2-1 game. It's laying right under her. What? It's going to be a free kick. That was an awkward looking play. I think Earhart was injured on that one. And the referee is going to come out to see if she's all right. So from this angle, it seems like Coach Lentz is checking out her ankle. It wasn't Coach Lentz, excuse me. I didn't see exactly who that was. However, it seems like Mackenzie is all right. So they're going to be putting their first set of the game here, and it's going to be Devin Roper. So they're testing out Earhart. Roper, the freshman, going to take over her spot for right now. And we're moving. Headed by McGinley. Nice play back to her. Kenneth does take control. Cuts to the left. Rojevich won't get fooled by that. It's going to be set out of bounds. It's going to be Kenneth Bell. Ball into the middle. Burnett will send it up. Kenneth's going to be the first one to get to that. Over to Kenneth Foot, and Bender will catch up to that first. Quick punt from her. It's kicked away. Is it going to remain in bounds by Shirk? It seems like it will. Shirk cuts to the left. She has a lot of space right now. And she sends it up to Kidder. Kidder trying to run onto that. It's going to be a throw in. Sure. Downfield. Kidder. With possession. Sends it up. Elshul trip. That could have been dangerous, but it's not. But now Kenneth's going to have an opportunity on the left side. Burnett trying to get back. Defender off. Good play by Burnett. Getting position right there. And she cuts the left. She didn't even have to put it out until right now. Good play right there. So Eric's going to be coming right back in for Roper. Throw in by Kennett. They take control. Nice play to get out of trouble. Ball sent right to Bender. She's just going to see it as it goes for a goal kick. Substitution is now coming on for Kennett. Under a half hour to go in this game. Kennett's been controlling much of the game lately. Can it change here? Kidder sends a ball downfield. Earhart tries to chase. It's going to go out of bounds. Shirk sends it with a header. It's Kidder. Kidder! Flicked it on to Earhart. Earhart. Not it was a throw in. Hard to see the yellow lines. And had it for a second. Lost it. Kenneth kind of sends it downfield for Lester to control. Passes it into the middle. 
McGinley. Back to Rojevich. Ball into the middle. It was a nice flick on. Sarah Shirk's going to be the first one of that ball. Sarah cuts back. Back into the box, Sarah. With the shot, it was deflected. It's going to remain. Oh. Remained in the air for an extended period of time. And there were two players on the Hornets trying to crash in and cash in on that one. But to no avail. And the punt goes out. Kidder will be the first one to get it. So Oxford regains possession. Buffman. Kidder now. Kidder over the top. That's going to be a cannon throw in. Didn't appear so, but it's going to be a cannon throw in. It must have deflected. And it's back into the middle. There's a shot. I hit the post right back to Earhart. And she misses it with the left foot. Oh, how close was that? Had a lot of the net to shoot at. Hit the post. And she couldn't get it with her left foot. 1-1 one, one game. Is he laughing at me? Okay. Horn's trying to send it downfield. Kenneth's the first one to get to that. Header tries to get to the ball. But that looked like she was fouled there. Oshel. Nice layoff. McGinley. Loses it. Count will send it downfield. And it will be a Kenneth throw in. Gonna remain Kenneth's ball. She cuts to the right, sends it across, but it won't work. Ball sent downfield. It's gonna go out of bounds. It's gonna be a throw in for the Hornets. Lester will be the one to take that. Sends it in. Lentz. Couldn't get that ball. It's going to go back to the Hornets. Osher's going to send it back to Bender. She will kick it over the head of a bunch of players. Goes over McGinley's head. She's trying to fight for the ball, but it won't work. Downfield. Out of bounds. Oxford ball. Lester. Went over Kidder's head. Earhart's going to be the first one for the Hornets to jump onto that ball. Earhart tries to cut back to the right, but it wouldn't work. Earhart trying to fight fat back for it, and it's going to go out. They threw it in too quick as there were two substitutions that need to be made for Kenneth. So now we're getting close to it being crunch time here. 24 minutes left in a very exciting game. Both teams are very evenly matched. Who will be the one to be the hero in this one? Goes back to Balkman. Balkman sends it to Bender. It's going to be dangerous. Bender just sends it to the left side. Kent's going to be the first one onto that ball. They have a chance if they want to score right here. Kent sends it into the middle. Lays it off. Oh, and it's a good play by Bender. No hesitation. And that was the difference between to go or not to go. Can it send it downfield? Lester gives it away. 
Good defensive play. She gets it back. Lester, big boot overhead. Earhart's going to try and be the first one to get to it. And it goes off of Kenneth, so it's going to be a corner kick. Should be a corner right here. How is that not a corner kick? Even the coaches for Oxford are not happy. There should have been two or three corner kicks that, should, that were not called for by the Hornets this game. Well, Kenneth will have position here off of the goal kick. All the way back into the Kenneth line of defense. Picked up. Shifflet pumps it downfield. Hornets are going to be the one to get to that. Kenner tries to send it across. Threatening here. Sarah Shirk might decide to keep it in bounds, and she does. Sarah. It's Kenner's going to try and break out. They won't do it. Back to Burnett. Burnett. Since it's in the middle, it's off of her. Sarah Shirk will have an opportunity here. Shirk getting pushed off, and it's going to be called offsides. And that's out. A lot of the free kicks from the Kenneth defense has gone out of play. Burnett will send that in. Good stepping by the Kenneth defense right there to take it back. It's going to be a two-on-two -two here. Say Harry, which they don't. Ball over the middle. Lester will give it to Balkman. To Kidder. Kidder sends it over top. Earhart with all the speed in the world tries to catch up to that. Big touch right there. Still fighting for it. Good pressure by Earhart. Throw it for the Hornets. Burnett to take it. Burnett just sends it easily. Tries to catch it to the middle. And Earhart going to get a pull on it. Off it. Late. Sends it over the top, and that's going to be called off sides of Earhart. Sarah Shirk's going to get that one. Kenneth takes it, tries to move to the right side, it won't work, Oxford's going to take it, Lester, good play, Lester, the left back's trying to play a little offense here, protects it from going out, she puts it into the middle, Kenneth's going to be the first one to get there, it's going to go out. Throw in. Kenneth will take it. Oshel fouled there. It's going to be a Hornet free kick. Walkman's going to take it. Low kick right there. Sends it over the top for Kenneth. Bender plays it out. Kidder takes it down. Ball to Shirk. Sarah Shirk moving it on the right side. Takes a shot from far out. Well, trouble hurt. 
save in the punt. Kind of comes down with it. Big kick from Lester right there. Shifflet just picks it up. 18 minutes to go. Ball cross. Oxford takes control. Heather Burnett sends it down the line. It's going to go out. Kenneth's going to have a throw in. The whistle has been blown. Good header from Kidder. Hornet throw in. Burnett tries to send it down, deflected off of a blue demon. All the way down to Bender, who's going to just pick it up. Tara Bender, big punt downfield. Off of a Kenneth player. McGinley trying to catch up to it. But Kenneth calmly and coolly gets it out of their area. Rojevic deflected it back. She's going to try and get it back, and it's going to remain in play. Osho fell right there, but Oxford will have the possession of the ball. Over the top. Shiflet coming out, and she got to the ball first. It's going to be a Kenneth throw in. It went off. But I believe Osho was running down. I'm not sure. I couldn't see from here. Correction, it was Mary Kate McGinley. Hornet throw in. Kidder tries to flick it over. Won't work. Sends it downfield over the top. Oshel trying to chase back to that one. Sends it back to Bender. Bender. Big left foot. It's going to be taken right by Kenneth, though. Oxford's got to be careful and get back into position. It's going to go out, though. Hornet throwing. Rajovic. Ball over the top for Earhart. Earhart goes over her. She's going to get to the ball again, though. Oxford's going to lose possession. It's going to be actually now a throw-in for Lester to take. McGinley tries to cut to the left near the corner flag. She's pointing like he's pointing like it should be a corner. I'm not sure why he's pointing at the corner flag. Gonna be a throw in for Kenneth. Went over Lester's foot. It's gonna be a Kenneth throw in. Kenneth trying to pressure, trying to break the deadlock. Burnett, good play there. It's going to go out. Kenneth throw in from their final third. And the first one onto that. Earhart's going to chase after it. They're just going to send it out. Oxford with the throw in. Burnett running down to get the ball. Looking for options, Earhart. Sure's the one to get to that ball. Tries a shot and gonna be taken by Shiplet. You 
confusion going on inside the six yard box right there. Goes over Wojovic's head. Kennedy had an opportunity to move up if the pass connected. Ball sent over the top. Earhart looked off sides, and she was. 13 minutes left. Kenneth to take the free kick. Over Rojevich's head. Oshel. Big left foot out. Whiffs on the pass right there, and McGinley's going to have a chance to give it to Earhart, which she does! Earhart! Oh, just wide of the right post! It remains one of one. She's due on this one to score. Moves to the right. Tries to shot. Shirk will be the one to come away with that one. Tries to cut through. Menzer in the middle. No one was there on the other end of it. McGinley trying to chase after it to keep it in bounds. She does not, however. It's going to be kind of throw in from deep in their own area. Another substitution for Kenneth. I haven't seen much from Oxford except when Earhart went down with the injury. Thrown in. McGinley sends it in the middle. Good step in from the Kenneth defense. Burnett steps up. Sends it over to Sarah Shirk. It's going to be an onside play. Shirk tries to send it in the middle. Looks like she's going to be the one to come up with it. The shot, and it's going to go to the side netting. Maybe not the smartest opportunity there, but we do want to score. A short one. Kidder's gonna send it over the top. Earhart could be the one to get onto that, and he's gonna go. Won't count. to the left, sends it into the middle, might have deflected, it deflected off of McGinley, and that should be a corner, and there we go, corner kick for the Hornets, Lester to take it, Curving in, and right back to Lester, to the side, cross in, headed away from Kenneth once again. Rojevic kicks it down. There's a shot! It's wide. Under nine. Kick. 
Oxford will take possession. Balkman sends a high ball. Kennett heads it. Oxford, good play, good through ball, trying to put that one final piece together into the middle, shirt's going to be the one on it, there's a shot, oh no, how close was that, right over the top of the crossbar, you could see the shadow of the ball go across it, that's how close you were from a 2-1 score line. Goal kick headed from Oxford. Shirk onto that ball. And it's going to be a foul from threatening position right here. Once the 10 yards. Very threatening position right here with seven to go. Kid is going to be the one to take this. The three woman wall for Kenneth is set. The run up, the shot, and hit the crossbar. It goes down, star. The Hornets take the lead. The Hornets take the lead. Two one, Sarah Shark. Wow, what a free kick. It almost went in, and Sarah Shirk was there to collect the garbage. It's 2-1 to one Oxford with 6 minutes, 51 seconds to go. And now Kenneth really is in the hole. Kenneth, let's see how they're going to respond. Left side, Burnett will send it out. It's going to be a... Throw in for Kennett. Threatening range. Number for the 50 50. Number is six. Ball sent in, and it's going to be threatening at the top of the box. It's going to be a shot. It's going to be wide in the net. So right now, Oxford, you can imagine, just wants to kill off this game. Be calm with the ball. Hey, what's the number again? Well, sent down. Kidder deflects it off her head. Sends it back. Kenneth will take it. Ball sent over everyone's head. Bender will be the first one on it. Punt downfield. Kidder flicked over her head again. Shook an air hurt onto the ball. And it's just going to start off. It looked like a deflection. Whose ball is it? Was the wrong call right there. Let's see if it's going to cost anyone. Now that's going to be Get it all. So they survived. Under five minutes. Shove in the back right there. Rajovic will send it over for Earnhardt. That's it. Off the back of Kidder's head. Sends it down. Kennett trying to respond with a goal. Deflected off of a Hornet. Kennett ball.
Pettit will take possession. There's a shot from range, and oh my word, just over the crossbar. Good attempt right there. That was going in. If we were a bit, maybe three feet, on the feet under, then we have a 2-2 two -two score line. But nonetheless, 2-1. Three and a half to go. Goal kick. Oxford will get it. Kidder tries to send it down. It's blocked by Kennett. Into the middle now, Lester. Good play. Rodovich just sends it down. Earhart's going to go on to that ball. Earhart. Shifflin had to go back with the shot and might have deflected. It's going to be a corner. So under three to go. How smart of time management. Short kick. It's already in play. It's a Roger Bench, Roger Bench with the shot. And there you go. Three, two, one. It's your score, Rachel Rotovich. The captain! What a goal there! To the side netting. 3-1 score line. Now all Oxford has to do is just sit back and play some defense. That was an unbelievable shot right there. Curved in with the left. Injury. Perhaps. Clock stops. 2.03 to go. Can it has to score a goal every minute from now on if they want to take this game to extra time? Standing O from both sides of the crowd there. Kind of player comes off. Subs coming on. Heather Burnett to throw it in. Kind of has to move quick here. Kind of will take possession. Throw in, 152. Over the top. Another throw in, four in a row. They're just getting more field position with the throw ins. And Oxford's going to take it away. Throw in, but now for the Hornets. Burnett to do this one. It's going to be deflected, kind of ball, 110. Flicked on. Kennett has possession. Cut back to the left. Ball over the middle. Core Buckman's going to be the one on that. 50 seconds remaining in this game. It's going to be a free kick for Kenneth. They're going to have to go quick right now. Sends it downfield. Rojovic will just head that away. And she'll kick it all the way down. Half a minute to go. Hornets are going to win this one. In a game which had its exhilarating moments 
and a very close score line. The Hornets, with about eight minutes to go in the second half, broke the deadlock and made it 3-1 in a span of about four minutes. Burnett, with the ball seven to go, sends it over the top to Sarah Shirk. It's not going to get to her. It's out of bounds. Time has expired, and the Hornets on senior night come out with the win with the final score of 3-1. The game-winning goal from Sarah Shirk, the insurance goal by Rachel Rojovic. What a game we had, exhilarating by each team, great performance. In the end, eight minutes was all the Hornets needed. From Dylan Coyle, Josh Campbell, Ethan Chambers, and the rest of the Oxford Broadcast Group, we hope you had a good time watching this one. Signing off.